Meanwhile, the Breitling jet team is the world's largest civilian flight team piloted by top-notch professionals. I am privileged to have witnessed the team's air show during their visit here in the country as their first stop in their Southeast Asian tour. Here's this report. We're now here at the Clark International Airport where we'll witness the takeoff of the seven Breitling jet planes and they will have seven lucky guests who will ride with their featured pilots. Come join us. Um, I'm here to assist uh, all the display pilots and, um, and, and help them in any way I can. Um, I want to help them do their job and, and give the best display that they can. Mm -hmm. Just before the passenger flight, mm -hmm. we are checking everything with all the technicians. Mm -hmm. And now the planes are going to take off. Mm -hmm. They are flying over the Pinatubo mm -hmm. and they will coming back in uh, 20 minutes. I wasn't nervous earlier. I'm still not nervous now, but the idea that I'm the only girl I have to represent by not throwing up. <laughs> Sobra, hindi ako nakatulog dito. It's something that I, I really look forward to. Um, it's my dream as a child and my dream as a, as a grown-up. And uh, it's finally happening. Those guys will have to go through um, um, a training. Sometimes it's quite difficult uh, on the body. And we ask them not to touch anything because, um, because basically the, the pilot can handle the plane but the guy behind as well. It's not so complicated but you just have to be really concentrated and then enjoy. What they are doing, they are doing a maneuver, what we call the breaking Asian maneuver. Look at this. This is the first country in Southeast Asia to host uh, the jet team. So they're going to go to Indonesia, then they will go to um, Singapore, Malaysia and uh, Thailand. It's a big experience for us, a big organization. In Europe, usually we have a uh, schedule that is every year roughly the same. Uh, so it's totally new for us, it's a big challenge. Is it more tricky to fly planes in a tropical destination or is it easier since it's sunnier and less windy? It's a bit tricky here in, in this region because the weather can change very fast, very rapidly and with storms. Uh, so this is tricky, uh, I would say. And uh, the other thing is the, the heat. Uh, because the, the, when you fly an aircraft, depending on the temperature of the air, it's a bit different. They behave differently, so you have to adapt. But once you adapt it, then, then you're fine. Traveling with those aircraft, they can travel only two hours or 2,000 kilometers per, per day. So it's like in the old days when you were flying to Asia, you were making small bumps. Before, you know, you could take five days to go to Hong Kong from Paris. So they've been, they've been flying a lot together. And this is why, I mean, it looks like very simple. It's very complicated. It's timing, only timing. And, and the most difficult trick is not to fly information, this is something important, but is to find yourself when you separate all the aircraft in the, in, in the air. In 3D dimension, they have to get back together and it's not easy. On the road is okay, but it, you know, you have to look everywhere. Where are your team, teammates? And uh, so they have to train on this and they know exactly how to do. Everything is timing. The Breitling Jet Team will continue their Southeast Asian tour in Singapore. Pat Fernandez, Solar News. Wow. Flight. Always amazing. Always a dream. What did you say? Flight. I, no, no, no. Feed my need for speed. I want to feed my need for speed. Yeah, you should have been there, Jim. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Sometime soon. Uh, maybe this weekend. Kahit lupa lang. Lupa lang. And that's our solar.